about the business. Mr. Jared D. Rogers, he the one that had the vision. Educate and impact at least two million. Now it's four years later and we still on the mission. Yeah, we talking two million families. Shifting their perspectives mentally and financially. How many y'all like being broke? Never mind, don't answer me. But if money is your problem, then actually we got the answer key. Enroll, learn, and profit. It's simple, don't make it challenging. Shout out Miss Tasha Dahlia for coming up with the strategy. Now, I ain't saying it's easy because focus is something you have to be. It ain't no better feeling than setting your own salary. Hey, you can be your own bank and take your time while you're learning it. Where you about to be is not where you reside currently. We gon' teach you how to compound it while you're earning it. It's that new type of money. Now that's a different type of currency. Hey, you can be your own bank and take your time while you're learning it. Where you about to be is not where you reside currently. Good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. To every one of you that's already here, welcome, welcome, welcome to the call. This is your very own basic, certified basic educator, Evelyn Graham, the queen of the charts. And I would like to welcome each one of you today to this trading analysis call. Now it's already Tuesday, great power pack Tuesday. As you log on, please be so kind to drop it in the chat to let us know where you're calling in from along with your affirmations, and it would be nice to put those questions, raise them high, countries that you're calling in from. Thank you. We're going to teach you how to compound it while you're earning it. It's that new type of money. That's a different type of currency. Hey, you can be your own bank and take your time while you're learning it. Where you about to be is not where you reside currently. We're going to teach you how to compound it while you're earning it. It's that new type of money. It's that new king of currency. Hey, you can be your own Bank and take your time while you're learning it. Where you about to be is not where you reside currently. We gon' teach you how to compound it while you're earning it. It's that new type of money. It's that new king of currency. Well, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good morning, good morning to everyone. Thank you all for dropping it in the chat this morning. We are going to be off to a great start. So let me start by welcoming Chattanooga, Tennessee in the house. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Toronto, Canada. Welcome, welcome to the call. I see you, Stone Mountain. Welcome, welcome to the call. Love those flags. Jacksonville, Florida. Welcome, welcome to the call. Texas. I see you, and those flags are really, really, really awesome. And I see you from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Welcome, welcome to the call. Minor Park, London, welcome, welcome. And I see you as well, Milwaukee. Thank you all for dropping it in the chat. And as you log on, for those who are still putting it in the chat, yes, you have a few minutes more. Drop it in the chat. Let us know what cities you're calling in from along with your affirmations. This morning, this morning, I can't wait to get onto those charts. And yes, we are going to do that in a moment. So again, today's Tuesday, Great Power Pack Tuesday. And yes, we are going to start off a little bit different this morning. We're going to go ahead and we are going to look at the news. We know how important it is. So hence, we know how much fundamentals moves the market. So here's where we are on daily news. You know, we have our own very daily news. So we are going to get started with our daily news. And this is from our BYOB Trading Academy platform. So I know we should get used to you know, the videos by now, I just really get excited when I listen to the videos and then you can always see what the trade ideas look like. So let me go right ahead and of course, play this video for you. Live from the world's capital markets, here are the latest financial headlines brought to you by BYOB Trading Academy. Hello and welcome to Tuesday's Daily Financial Digest. The dollar rose to a five-day high against the Japanese yen as authorities' efforts to rein in worries over the global banking system helped soothe investor nerves. 
Barclays raised its terminal rate forecast for the Bank of England's benchmark policy rate by a quarter point to 4.5%, following the central bank's 11th straight hike last week. European markets rebounded while Asian stocks were mixed at the start of what could be another rocky week for global markets, thanks to lingering uncertainty about the banking sector. The dollar rose 0.5% against the yen in the last trading session. The CCI is giving a positive signal. The Bitcoin dollar pair plummeted 3.2% in the last session. The ultimate oscillator is giving a positive signal. The gold dropped 0.9% against the dollar in the last session. The MACD is giving a positive signal. The oil dollar pair exploded 4.6% in the last session. The Williams indicator is giving a positive signal. The US S&P Case-Shiller Home Price Indices will be released at 1300 hours GMT. Italy's business confidence at 0800 hours GMT. The Irish retail sales at 1000 hours GMT. The US consumer confidence will be released at 1400 hours GMT. The US Red Book Index at 12.55 GMT. Australia's retail sales at 0 hundred hours and 30 minutes GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed Tuesday's financial report. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets. Live from the world's capital market. Okay, so we are going to now move along and have a look at what we have here on here as the blog. Pretty much the blog helps us to have an idea what we just listened to on the news because I'm going to look at two of these trade ideas this morning. Euro, USD, we would have just listened to that, that the euro dollar pair made a minor upwards correction in the last session. And of course, we saw where the pound gained 0.3% against the dollar as well in our last session. So we will have a look at those currencies this morning, and I may just have a look at another one. Now, at this point, we will definitely look at fundamentals, continue to look at fundamentals from the very financial news sources that we often check. And that is my FX book, FX Street, and Forex Factory. Now, I will have to type in Forex Factory. I think I might have lost mine, Forex Factory. Again, I click on Economic Calendar, and we want to be able to get that up. So you can see, I am not making anything up. I am actually getting my facts right. So here we go on my FX book. What have we got here? Well, we're going to look for those red folders. We're looking for those red folders this morning. You know, they give us those high impact news releases and they certainly move the market. So we look for those red folders and we look for them because we know that they move the market. At this time of the morning, we haven't got any red folders at all not this time of the morning but later on at 8 30 a.m eastern standard time what you can see is a red folder here for the u.s so we expect some movement there for the U u.s at 8 30 a.m what we're seeing is medium impact sometimes they too can move the market but we're actually looking for those red folders those that give real big impacts so so far, no more red folders. And so we're going to have a quick look on FX Street to see if we're seeing anything different on there. Let's see. So we see a speech. It comes up as a medium impact for Euro. And that's at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. There's a speech because what we do know is speeches can move the market as well. So be mindful that we have a speech for Euro at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do not think we picked that up on my FX book just now. And of course, Forex Factory. Let's see, today is March 28th, Tuesday. What are we seeing? Yes, 
There is a 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time red folder for the U.S. And at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there is a red folder, a CPI for AUD. So be mindful, there is a red folder for AUD, the Aussie dollar, at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we do have some red folders. So of course, with red folders, we know those are high impact news releases. Remember, with these re news release, we try to hold back. We do not put trades in just before those news releases. We actually trade after the news has happened. Wait for the news to settle. Wait to see the effects, get a clear direction. And that's how we trade live in the market. So now we have a clear idea what the fundamentals are saying. We're going to go straight onto our trading chart. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why we're here. We are here because we can't wait to get onto those charts so we can trade live in the market. Of course, just to bring it to your attention, this time of the morning, we do have the basics call. This is the live trading basics call that we do every morning at this time of the morning. So be mindful that. We are just going to focus on the very basics. And so one of the important things that I need to mention is that my favorite strategy is what I look at. And of course, that's the BYOB cash out strategy. We're going to be looking at an overview of the BYOB cash out strategy. Now, if this is your first time on the call, then this is a really easy three simple steps very easy to follow that we use on the byob cash out strategy now it's also embedded in our website byobmovementworldwide.com it's embedded there you can find it you click on tools and then you look for live feed and you can find it there this morning i'm going to be sharing my screen again but this time another screen and I'm going to look at an overview of the BYOB cash out strategy for you. So please make notes if you're very new. And that way you can follow the steps. This is going to be a historical trade. It's a trade that has already played out. And it means it's easy for you to follow the steps that we take when we are using the BYOB cash out strategy. So if you're all able to see my trading view chart, then I want you to acknowledge by one person just putting in a 555 in the chat. And as you do so, please remember this time of the morning, we do not do anything on our charts unless we say a big thank you to the mastermind team. So for those who haven't done so, you haven't done the drill before, we put our TAGs in the chat just to let the mastermind team know that we appreciate all that they have done and what they're doing now and as they continue to work hard behind the scenes. Thank you for putting in that 555 in the chat. I'm on my trading view chart and I'm on the currency pair GBPAUD. Now, this morning, I carefully thought about doing a currency pair that you could see a buy opportunity. Why? Because yesterday, Monday, we looked at a sell opportunity on Euro GBP. Again, it is a historical trade that I'm looking at, one that has already played out. So, as you see, I'm on GBP AUD. I start on my 15 minute time frame. So that's the time frame all of us need to be starting on the 15 minute time frame. It is indeed our time frame of analysis. So it doesn't matter what you're trading, even if you're trading sugar or soya beans, it doesn't matter. You start on the 15 minute time frame. It's your time frame of analysis. And we look for three indicators to be in agreement or in alignment, starting with our stochastic. Now the stochastic is housed at the bottom 
of the trading view chart. Can you see it's at the bottom? It says STOCH for those who are very new. And for those who are new, I want to welcome you to the call this morning, a special welcome. I know that personally, I invited a few people on. So welcome, welcome to the call. And what we do know is our stochastic is the leading indicator. So make copious notes. Stochastic is the leading indicator. Now, as I said, it's housed at the bottom of the trading view chart. What you can see here are some numbers from zero to 100. Now, those are actually there for a reason. For a potential buy opportunity, we look for that 20 marker because we like to start at the bottom and work our way up because price is going to move in an upward direction. So we start at the bottom here and work our way up as price moves up. And the blue line would need to cross above the red line moving upwards for a buy opportunity. Now we look at another indicator, and that's our candles. On the 15-minute time frame, our time frame of analysis, we must see a green candle, and we must see a flat bottom green candle. What do I mean by a flat bottom? This is the first time on the call. I mean that we shouldn't see a little stick at the bottom as we can see here. It needs to be as flat as this, as flat as a pancake. Flat bottom, green candle. And on top of that, there is another indicator. And that indicator is that dot that you see below the green flat bottom candle. We call that our PSARs. So three indicators, that's it. That's all you need to remember. Three indicators. Once again, we must start with our leading indicator. Have to follow the leader, and that's the stochastic. And around this 20 marker, you need to see the blue line cross above the red line pointing upwards. And then you must see a green candle with a flat bottom, PSR at the bottom. So you would have heard me say bottom a number of times. So we start at the bottom of this. The, the casting right here, and the blue line needs to point above the red line pointing upwards. So we said 20 marker is at the bottom. Then you have a green candle with a flat bottom, and the PSR, that dot needs to be at the bottom of the flat bottom green candle. So this is where you hear bottom, bottom, bottom. We must have three indicators in alignment. On our 15 minute time frame, our time frame of analysis. It's at this point that I'm going to tag my candle right there. So let's find our candle that I need to tag. And I'm going to look for, it's easy that way, an arrow that is pointing up and it should be in yellow. That way you can see. Okay. So you should be able to see my arrow. It's quite nice, nice and chubby. So you should be able to see that arrow. And we are on the 15 minutes time frame. So we are not going to stay on the 15 minute time frame. We have other time frames that we need to go to. So we are going to move to a bigger time frame. And that time frame is the one hour time frame. It's called our time frame of confluence. So again, it's the same market, just from a different viewpoint. So now I'm moving to another time frame. What time frame is this? The one hour. And on the one hour time frame, we only need two out of the three indicators to be in alignment. Only two out of three to be in alignment. And what are we supposed to look at first? Our stochastic, of course, which is our leading indicator. Our leading indicator is our stochastic. We must see the blue line above the red line. Remember, this trade has already played out. So we're looking for the blue line to have moved above the red line here. But what you're seeing is a red candle. Now we must have a green candle. It is a must. We do not negotiate on the color. It's a must. 
So we must have a green candle. It doesn't have to have a flat bottom as long as it's a green candle. So in this case, we would have noticed we're seeing a red candle. That tells us that on the one hour, we are not getting confluence. So clearly we have to wait. Patience, patience, profit. So in this case, we would wait to see a green candle. So the next new hour, what happened? I've moved my arrow. Yes, you would have seen a green candle. And again, it doesn't have to have a flat bottom. And we do not need to have the PSR at the bottom. If we do, it's still a good thing, but it's not a must on the one hour time frame. So clearly now you can see my vertical broken line. You're seeing we have two indicators in alignment or in agreement on the one hour time frame or a time frame of confluence. So you know that the one hour time frame is ready. And once we're ready, time to move to our other time frame, which is our time frame of entry. I'm now moving to the five minute time frame, which is our time frame for entry. Once again, we only need two indicators to be in alignment or in agreement on our five minute time frame. Our indicator, which is our leading indicator, is the indicator that you look at first. That's the stochastic. So if you were to look at your stochastic, you can see the hand. You need to see the blue line above the red line. And clearly, that's what you're seeing. Blue line above the red line. And we're seeing a green candle. Now we only need two indicators. We've got two indicators on our five minute time frame or time frame of entry and that's all we need to see so we make sure our 15 minutes we have three indicators in alignment our one hour we must have two indicators in alignment and on our five minutes we must have two indicators in alignment and we would have been able to get into the trade so now you can see that you got your green candle but for those, of course, who are trading new to the skill set, we do suggest you wait for a flat bottom green candle because that way it removes the anxiety and the likelihood for you to have a smooth entry is very much there for you. So you would have been able to see how if you got in the trade at this point. So you can see the date at the bottom, Tuesday the 28th of March at 6.30 a.m., if you had gotten in the trade at this point, you would have seen where you would have gotten all those pips because you can see price did move to the upside and you would have been able to catch your pips. Now, that is how we analyze using the BYOB cash out strategy. This is how we analyze in order to take our trades and catch our pips. If you've been able to follow through, then I want you to drop your five five fives in the chat this morning let us see if you have been able to follow because guess what ladies and gentlemen it's time for us to go live in the market this time of the morning it's really nice to catch some pips as well so let's go let's go let's go and just for the sake of our we have okay I recognize some of the names already this morning. For those who are pace setters, I look forward to see you participating. I know the names of the pace setters, so I'm checking to make sure we're all here. I might be missing one or two persons, but yes. If you are a pace setter, put a fire emoji in the chat. If you are a pace setter, go ahead, put a fire emoji in the chat. I know you by names, by the way. So if I don't see the fire, then I know you're not at your charts. Okay. So give me some more fire. Where are the pay setters? I'm looking for you to put the information in the chat this morning. I see you. More fire. Oh, my goodness. We're ready to rock and roll this morning. 
and we are going to fire up the place. Yesterday is still my best morning, I think. I saw people putting in their support and resistance in the chat, and I can't tell you how exciting that feels. So now we are going to go and we're going to be looking at some live trades in the market. Now, yesterday we looked at GBP USD. Yes, we did. And if you know me from back in the day with the um, intermediate session that we did, you know very much I am an intraday trader trading from zone to zone to catch my pips. So that explains why I looked at GBP USD for some pips going from zone to zone. So here we are. And we are going to go back on GBP, GBP USD. But that's going to be quite quick because I just need to look at what we did yesterday and then we will move on to another pair that we are going to look at trading live. But just to quickly go back on GBP USD, we looked at that trade yesterday morning. So if I were to take you to the four hour time frame, that's where we were yesterday. So this is where we were yesterday, ladies and gentlemen. We actually looked at GBP USD. We were looking for that potential buy opportunity yesterday. Why? Because like I said, I trade from zone to zone. I love my SR lines, which is support and resistance lines. We identified those areas yesterday in the market. And what you can see is beautiful. So what you were able to see is we got this trade on that four hour. You can see the four hour we started off yesterday. And what happened? You saw where those green candles move from one SR or support and resistance level to another. And where did it go? As we said, it would go into our zone so we did say as well once it gets to that zone you do not want to be taking a trade into this zone because what happens in this zone you can see the rejections of here if you understood that put a 555 in the chat if you understood that put a 555 in the chat so Someone like myself would have gotten into this trade. And yesterday, this trade went for about how many pips? Okay. So I think I would have entered from here. What time was this yesterday? Okay. So I saw a good entry at this point. And I went in and got into this trade. So yes, 80 something pips you saw on that move. 80 something pips on that move for GBP USD. Can anyone remember when we went to daily news, what we heard? Anyone remember what we heard when we went to daily news? This morning we played it, so you should have been able to hear it. So don't forget, we're playing it for you to make notes. So what did you remember from the news that we listened to? It said yesterday's session, what happened with GBP? Who remembers? Please, someone tell me you remember what was said. Drop it in the chat. Something happened yesterday for GBP, okay? So we gained 0.3% against the dollar okay i'll just pretend you heard but you just were late in typing it in the chat okay so clearly you can see we came back to this thank you one person said yes gbp got stronger and that's pretty much what happened yesterday so great you are now staying with me stay with me stay with me stay with me this morning we want you to get the concept we want you to understand why we play our daily news. We want you to take notes, fundamentals, rules, the market. 
So you can see where we were in the market up to yesterday or last night. And you can see that we did come back to the zone that we were expecting yesterday for it to come to. So yesterday we, it was an expectation. Today it's a reality. So it did come back to this zone. And now you see we're rejecting off there. So you can see the rejection at this point, And you can see that on the stochastic as well. So that's GBP USD that we looked at yesterday. Okay. So now you know I am not a swing trader. And most of us, when you're learning the skill set, you have to identify what trader you are. You have to identify the kind of trader you are. That does help you. If you want to see your money in your account pretty much in the same day or a day later, then you know you're not a swing trader. You're not a long-term trader. But like myself, I need to see some money in my account on a regular basis. So you know I am an intraday trader. I love to trade from zone to zone. Okay? So I'm going to now move on to Euro USD, and I'm going to look at that trade opportunity. Let's find Euro USD. Okay, Euro USD. We are going to be trading live, ladies and gentlemen, so I need you in action. So now that we are on Euro USD, help me out here. We need to be on what? time frame what time frame do we need to be on as you can see um we looked at euro usd on our daily news as well so we are expecting to see euro make a move today hopefully so here we are on the four hour yes i need to be on my 15 minute time frame thank you for putting it in the chat I need to be on my 15 minute time frame. What am I seeing here? I'm seeing that my stochastic, once again, I always, always, always look at my stochastic first. It is indeed my leading indicator. Okay, and this is a trade we looked at yesterday as well. So you will notice that we still have our support and resistance lines on there. It's a trade that we looked at yesterday. So again, we must see three indicators in alignment. Stochastic is our leading indicator. And again, we must see the blue line point above the red line pointing upwards. And we must see a green candle. And it must have a flat bottom. And we must see the PSR at the bottom of the flat bottom green candle. We must have three indicators in alignment on the 15 minute time frame, which is our time frame of analysis. Clearly, we are not yet seeing that flat bottom because I can see a tiny, tiny, tiny little wick. It helps that I wear glasses as well, so I can see it. And I must have a PSR at the bottom. So clearly, my 15 minute time frame we are not ready but it doesn't stop us from going to look at the bigger time frames because again we want to have an idea of what's happening on the bigger time frames so clearly it's time to move along ladies and gentlemen thank you pay setters for dropping it in the chat for those of you who are new please follow closely take your screenshots that's how you're going to learn now we are moving on to a bigger time frame. Thank you for putting it in the chat. It's our time frame of confluence. Make sure if you are new, take screenshots. We're moving to a bigger time frame, and it's our time frame of confluence. What are you supposed to see on your time frame of confluence? Well, once again, you must look at your stochastic first. You must see the blue line point above the red line. So you know it's not doing that at the moment. You need to see the blue line points above the red line pointing upwards. 
and we need to wait because that's not happening and we can't do anything without our stochastic doing the right thing. So the blue line needs to point above the red line, pointing in an upward direction as price moves to the upside. And we must see a green candle. Of course, we are seeing a red, a green candle. We're even seeing a piece are at the bottom, which is not a must. But what I can say, we still can't do anything yet because our one hour time frame, we're not yet getting confluence. So we must wait on our one hour time frame for confluence. Once again, our stochastic is our leading indicator, and we must see our blue line push above the red line pointing upwards. And then you need to see a green candle. That's it. When you have your two indicators in alignment, then you know the one hour time frame is ready. And that's the time frame of confluence. Now, clearly, we know we are not yet ready on the one hour, which is our time frame of confluence. It's time to move to our four hour time frame. Four hour time frame. Put it in the chat. What's our time frame? Four hour. What is it? Our four hour time frame is our time frame of what? What we do know it is a bigger time frame. It is a bigger time frame. It's our time frame of authority. Okay. So we need to see. Again, our stochastic, our leading indicator. We need to see that that blue line is above that red line pointing upwards. And that's, that's exactly what we're seeing. And we must, we must see a green candle. And clearly we're seeing a green candle. And again, we do not have to have a flat bottom as long as the candle is green. And we also do not have to have a PSR at the bottom. But whenever we see the piece are at the bottom and we have a flat bottom on the bigger time frame, it simply means we see some momentum there and hopefully we will see price move to the upside. Now we're going to home in now on those support and resistance lines that we have drawn, okay? So we've drawn some support and resistance lines and we did that yesterday. Hopefully the next one will have missing support and resistance, but at least you are able to see that these were here from yesterday. And so far we have moved between each of these support and resistance lines that we have. Support and resistance areas, you can see that we started the move yesterday. So this is where we probably would have entered. And so far, it should be around 50 something pips. So, so far, this is how many pips we should have seen. Right, 60 something pips, ladies and gentlemen. 60 something pips yesterday. So you can see that that's how much we have, or for some of us who took the trade, we should have secured some pips from yesterday. We are thinking that we still see some momentum to the upside. So we're looking to see how price will move today and move between these support and resistance levels here in the market. And again, you see that if we get to this point where we have our zone drawn up, so pretty much if you weren't on the call yesterday, this is where we looked at yesterday when we came to the chart. This is where we were in the market. This is exactly where we were in the market. And we highlighted that we were at this level. Price came here, rejected a number of times, and then price moved to the downside, came to this level and found support. So it found support here and we saw price moving back up. We are expecting for price to come all the way back up here to the next zone here where we saw that heavy rejection. So this is what happened yesterday. We looked at where we were in the market, what actually transpired. We came to that support 
and found support here and we saw price move to the upside so we're expecting price to continue moving to the upside so on the four hour this is what we are looking at we're hoping to see that price will move to the upside and you can see that we are trading between those support and resistance levels now if there was someone who wasn't able to make the call yesterday let me go back to my line charts let me go to the line charts and help you see what we were looking for so for those support and resistance how do we identify what those support and resistance levels are so pretty much let me use this one as an example this where we have the zone here you can see my zone here that's the zone you can see that price came to this level found some level of rejection so we had resistance here and it bounced off we came back to the price here bounced off came back again bounced off and had price move to the downside so this is where we saw rejection 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 we call these rejections resistance so if you're on the calls with miss dyer she always makes it very clear that when you hit these levels it's like hitting a ceiling you're hitting that ceiling and you're seeing resistance there resistance 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 now as you move along and this is the four hour time frame as you move along what you're able to see is it is also not just a resistance but it's also a support so you see where we came here and that was at nine o'clock on the 24th of march and you see where price got support right here so you are now able to see that it's acting this area this area here is acting as both a support and resistance support as miss dyer explained yesterday is like hitting the floor so you hit the floor and bounce back up so when you look to the left resistance is you hit the ceiling bounce down hit the ceiling bounce back down hit the ceiling and you're bouncing down when you are at a support it's the same line same area you hit there but this time it's like the floor you hit there and price bounces off and moves up so now we see where price is where we had a support and we are expecting price to move up you can see that price is moving between these support and resistance levels so now you know what a support and resistance line is so we have drawn more support and resistance lines and this is where we're trading at this time of the morning we're trading between the support and resistance lines here or support and resistance levels in the market so now that is the explanation of what those support and resistance levels are in the market i'm going to go back to my candles and we use the hikonachi because we use the byob cash out strategy and we use those candles they are our candles that are the trending candles that we use okay so now we are on the four hour it's time to top down it's time to top down so we've gone through support and resistance you have seen that this trade is a trade we looked at yesterday if you got in then it would be 60 something pips and again we're topping down to the one hour time frame again we must wait for the stochastic our leading indicator we must see that blue line push above the red line pointing upwards and we must see a green candle it doesn't have to have a flat bottom and it doesn't have to have a piece hour at the bottom but if we do then we quite like that we call those our bonuses 
okay? So on the one hour, we must wait for that time frame to be ready. And we must have two indicators in alignment or in agreement on the one hour time frame, our time frame of confluence, before we can consider even getting into this trade. And of course, our 15 minutes time frame, once again, we must have three indicators in agreement or in alignment. Again, our stochastic is our leading indicator. So we must see the blue line push above the red line pointing upwards, and we must have a green candle with a flat bottom. Now, this is non-negotiable. We must have a green candle with a flat bottom. And of course, that PSR must be at the bottom of that flat bottom green candle. Three indicators is a must on the 15 minute time frame, which is our time frame of analysis. It's time for us to move on to our five minute time frame. So remember, we started at the four hour just now. We topped down to the one hour. We checked the 15 minutes. So we must remember 15 minutes, three indicators must be in agreement or in alignment. And then our five minutes is our five minute time frame of entry. Now, again, we must look at our stochastic first, which is our leading indicator. What must we see? We must see our blue line push above our red line, which it's doing right now as I'm looking. That's what we need to see, blue line above the red line. We must see a green candle. And of course, for those who are new to trading, preferably a green candle with a flat bottom because usually it's a smoother entry. So this one has a wick at the bottom. Usually with a flat bottom, we are looking for a smoother entry. So again, all the time frames must be in agreement must be in agreement before you take the trade. So clearly, we will need to wait for Euro USD to be properly set up before you get in to trade Euro USD. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we have just looked at Euro USD for that potential buy opportunity. If you have been able to get the concept of the BYOB cash out strategy, then I want you to put your 555s five, five, five in the chat. Put your 555s five, five, five in the chat. And we are going to hope for those pips today in the market. Thank you for putting in your 555s five, five, five in the chat. And I too will be looking to catch my pips as well in the market today. Now, with that being said, We've got room to look at another pair, okay? Room to look at another pair. And this pair is Euro JPY. Euro JPY. So ladies and gentlemen, for those pay setters, go ahead and keep populating the chat because you know we look at the 15 minutes or time frame of analysis start populating the chat, and then we move to our one hour time frame. It's our time frame of confluence. Then we move on to even a bigger time frame. Our trade whisperer calls that the head of the house, and also it's known as the time frame of authority. As we move from one time frame, drop it in the chat so everyone can follow. So clearly, Euro JPY, we need to be on our 15 minutes time frame. What's happening now on our 15 minutes time frame? We need to, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's good to see that you made it on. You're welcome. So here we are on the 15 minute time frame. We must see three indicators in agreement or in alignment. Here we are. We must again look at our stochastic first. It is our leading indicator. And we must see the blue line push above the red line pointing upwards. So we need to wait for 15 minutes to get ready with the stochastic, our leading indicator. And of course, we must see a green candle, not only just a green, green candle, 
but it must have a flat bottom. Again, it must have a flat bottom. And the PSAR would need to be at the bottom. So our 15 minutes time frame is not yet ready. That's beautiful. I love to see the information in the chat. We do have new people on, so it helps them to understand. Okay, so it's time to move to a bigger time frame. And that's our time frame of confluence. Our bigger time frame is our time frame of confluence. What we can say our one hour time frame, when we look at our stochastic, we can see our stochastic is really not ready. We see that the blue line is trying to pretty much get extremely close to the red line. And we would prefer for the blue line to be pointing upwards in the air. Yes pointing upwards in an upward direction and it's not yet doing that so we need to wait on that to happen and we also need to see a green candle what we can say is that we saw where price was moving to the upside on the one hour and came into my zone which i'll talk about in a minute so once we come to that zone we tend to get somewhat a rejection price rejects off there so again we must wait for that price to correct itself from the one hour but yes we came to that zone that's why that zone is there okay so now we know we are not yet ready on the one hour time frame and for those who are a little bit more advanced we did hit a major psychological level so you can see we hit a major psychological level there. So it's not a surprise that we got some rejection there or some resistance. So now we can now accept that the one hour time frame is not yet ready. And so we need to look at a bigger time frame. Thank you for putting it in the chat. I do appreciate what you're doing. So we are going to now move on to a bigger time frame. It's our time frame of authority. And as you know, it's also called the head of the house. What do we expect to see? We expect to see two indicators in agreement or in alignment. Again, stochastic is our leading indicator. We must see the blue line push above the red line, pointing upwards. That's exactly what it's doing. And we must see a green candle. Now, we do not have to have a flat bottom or the piece are at the bottom. But the fact that we do, we like that. So we're getting that additional confirmation that there is movement to the upside. And that is our bigger time frame, our time frame that gives us direction, our time frame of authority, head of the house. So we love to see. The fact that we're getting a flat bottom, even though it's not a must, but we're getting it. And on top of that, we're seeing our PSAR is at the bottom. So again, this is where I want to make it plain. You are able to see that I did put a zone right here, okay, at the top. What I can also do is put a zone at the bottom so you can see where price came to before and rejected off that area so i can put a zone right there okay we can put a zone right there so you can see where price had come previously and rejected i have now put my zone in there we are we saw where we came and we came back to where price had that level of rejection you can see how many times we tapped there we tapped, we tapped, we tapped, we tapped. Now we are tapping into that zone. We are not surprised because it is also at a major psychological level. So there is where we are happy to wait. We know not to get into this trade unless we have broken through this zone. Unless we have broken through this zone, we will not get into the buy for Euro JPY unless we have broken through this zone. Now, 
we know that we have been using our support and resistance levels. So the fact that we are expecting this to break at some point, it's not broken yet, we have to wait. Now we need our lines, our support and resistance lines to help us see that once we break through this zone, we need to know where our next support resistance, support and resistance level is. Now, anyone wants to put that in the chat, where do you think our next support and resistance level is in the market? Where do you think this is? Go ahead and put it in the chat. So this is where price is at the moment, 141.727. Where do you see the next support and resistance level? Remember the concept earlier that we used on EURUSD? It has to act as both a support and resistance level. Where will your next support and resistance level be? Put it in the chat. And I will go to the line charts for those who are new. And I will put it online. Okay, so where do you think our next support and resistance level is? Go ahead and put it in the chat. It's all right to put it in the chat, even if you're not sure. Put it in the chat. Okay, thank you for the answers. So we have one right here. You can see it's right here. You see where we had a, a, it rejected off here, so it is a resistance. And right here we have a support. So price tried to break through right there. So we had some resistance there. And right here, we see price come in there and re had rejection off there. So it is at a support right there. Okay, let's see. When we look to the left, okay, we could move it up some more. I would personally move it up some more because it's even clearer right there. So we see where we've got support there. Okay, so let me just put that in right there. And another one somewhere in here, okay, or up here. And I love what one of our pay setter put in. It was 143000. So we know that's at a psychological level. So that's not a surprise. It's right there at a psychological level. Okay, so we put that in and we can keep that one as well on the four hour. And we probably can put another one in. Let's move this one to 593. So we're looking for those support and resistance levels in the market. And that way you can trade between those support and resistance levels. So I've made it nice and neat right there for you. And the one that I was given, I have put that in. And of course, we are now moving back to candles. Hikanachi candles is what we use. So see how nicely it sits? Can you see how nicely it sits there? So again, if price moves to the upside, once it breaks this zone, you know how to get in to the trade and move along to the upside. So remember, we are trading between the support and resistance level. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how we draw our support and resistance lines. So you see which is the next level that you expect to see price move to. Again, we must break this zone that you can see here where you're getting all these rejections we must break this zone and once we have a candle forming above forming above that zone then yes you can get in but the body of the candle needs to break it not the wick but the body has to break it and then we know we can ride it to the next support and resistance 
level. And again, you see the next one, and you can continue to put in more and more support and resistance levels. Thank you for helping as well, because I'm sure this is where we are going to be learning. Okay, so we have another one being put in right there as well. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope that is getting clearer and clearer and clearer for you. Pretty much, we are at the four hour time frame, and now we've put in all our support that we need to do just now. We've put them in, and it's time to top down. So again, we move to our lower time frame, the next lower time frame. And we saw that our stochastic, our leading indicator is not yet ready. And we need to make sure our candle is a green candle. We know that it is green, but we need to wait for our stochastic. Blue needs to be pointing upwards in an upward direction. So we need to wait on the one hour. And the 15 minute time frame. Ooh, ooh dear. Again, we need to see three indicators in agreement or in alignment. We see the blue line here has crossed above the red line pointing upwards. We are seeing a green candle with a flat bottom, but we must see the PSR at the bottom. And remember the 50, the one hour is still not ready, our time frame of confluence. So again, we, are, we seem to be moving in the right direction. And the five minute time frame. Hey, look at that. So blue line is pointing above the red line, which looks good. Blue candle, green candle. And of course, for those who are new, we suggest wait for a flat bottom green candle. It's usually a smoother entry. So even though the five minutes looks good, we must wait on the one hour to be ready and the 15 minutes to be ready as well. And then you go back to the five minutes to make sure it is ready. Two indicators must be in alignment as well on the five minute time frame. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we have just completed Euro JPY, looking for a buy opportunity. If you've been able to follow, drop your 555s in the chat. Go ahead and drop your 555s in the chat. And just a reminder, today is Tuesday. Great power packed Tuesday. What is going to be happening? Ladies and gentlemen, there is going to be a call again today at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that call is going to be done by our very own Trade Whisperer at that time of the morning. And this evening at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have our very basics call. This is where it helps you to get started. So if you're new, you need to learn the skill set. This is the starting ground for you. This basics call helps you to implement what you are learning on that 9 p.m. call. So again, there is a 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time call today. So please make sure we see you joining later on. And of course, do not forget that we have our homepage. How do you get to this homepage? Again, byobmovementworldwide.com. You would need to come here to be able to know exactly what's going on with our movement, know who we are as a movement. And again, it's not just about knowing that it's be your own back movement. You need to know that bit more about what we are doing. Yes, we have our very own platform coming on shortly. We need you to be aware of that. Again, anyone can become an affiliate. Sign up with BYOB. Anyone can become an affiliate. It's a simple process. Just sign up with BYOB. And to register, of course, for our next webinar, wealth webinar, it's going to be today at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Why would you not want to be on there? Take someone with you as well. And yes, we have our BYOB World Summits. Be reminded, you just need to go to our website. The flyers are there for you to see. We are on for the month of April. Do not miss out. 
So ladies and gentlemen, we expect to see you later on today on the calls. And do not forget, we have our shop as well, our merchandise. Do not forget about that. There is just so much you need to be reminded of, but just go to our website. It's all there for you to see, and you will be able to make your own reminders. So again, we are at the top of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, it was so good to have you on, and thank you all for joining. Thank you so much for joining, and I see that we have some new members on this morning. Thank you all for joining. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning as well at 5.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we are back in the market live again. See you at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And don't forget on Thursdays, we have our intermediate at 5.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with Dr. Kirk Graham. Have a wonderful, have a great Power Packed Tuesday. And do not forget the broadcast, radio broadcast, this evening as well at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you all. See you all. Bye for now.